Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Sunday, August 2nd, 2015. The main fire potential impact for the next few days is going to be the moisture surging northward throughout the Great Basin. This moisture will make its way across much of Nevada and Utah today. On Monday, the moisture will move further northward up into Idaho. And initially, some of those storms, although they may be quite isolated across western Idaho, may be on the dry side, and that's where we're seeing some higher fire danger. So the potential for a new initial attack and possibly a large fire or two is more elevated over western Idaho. Lightning activity remained located over western and southern Nevada. It didn't make it too far up into southern Utah yesterday, but we'll see that change today. Most of those storms were accompanied by some precipitation, but there were a few little pockets where the precipitation was a little bit light, including north of Carson City and along the Arizona Strip. These images show the percent of normal precipitation for the past 30 days on the left and 7 days on the right. We've had some wet periods over the past 30 days across portions of the Great Basin, although the last 7 days have been quite dry across particularly Nevada and Utah and portions of western Idaho. Yesterday's fire activity was fairly light once again with a smattering of small initial attack fires. This morning's water vapor imagery shows the center of the high located to the north and east of the region with a small disturbance moving northward across the southern Great Basin. Moisture is in place across much of Nevada and Utah, and that's where we'll see our showers and thunderstorms develop today. By tomorrow, that disturbance will make its way northward into Idaho, and we'll see thunderstorms develop there. Large fire potential is highest across portions of western Idaho and central Utah going into today, but with the wetter storms expected for central and eastern Utah, that will cause fire danger to come down over the next few days. Temperatures are still very warm in southwest Idaho today, However, across Utah and Nevada, maximum temperatures will remain closer to normal as the cloud cover and precipitation move into those regions. The best chance for some heavier precipitation exists over the higher elevations of southern and eastern Utah. On Monday, the moisture makes its way up into Idaho and western Wyoming, while we'll see drier air beginning to move into the southern tip of the Great Basin. Temperatures will finally cool across the north, with highs in Boise down to 90 degrees. The thunderstorms will be fairly isolated, particularly in western Idaho, where they may be a little bit more widespread in eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. Northeast Utah will also see an active day on Monday. Thunderstorms will once again develop across the north on Tuesday as moisture remains in that area, with some dryness across the south. Thunderstorms on Tuesday will develop across Idaho, western Wyoming, and portions of northern Nevada and northern Utah. Wednesday will look a lot like Tuesday in terms of where the thunderstorms are going to develop. However, some drier air will begin to move into western Nevada. On Thursday, that dry air looks to spread throughout the region for a break in thunderstorm activity across much of the region. And then on Friday, we'll see a return of moisture to portions of central and eastern Great Basin where we'll see those thunderstorms develop once again. And some of those storms will linger across the north into Saturday. Forecast precipitation amounts for today are going to be heaviest over the mountains of central and eastern Utah, while Nevada should also see a fairly active day. Some drier air is already beginning to move into the southern tip of Nevada. Precip amounts will continue to increase for the next few days, particularly over Idaho, western Wyoming, and northern Nevada and northern Utah, as the moisture makes its way northward tomorrow and into Tuesday and Wednesday. There are a few areas of high fire danger across the region, one being over northern and central Utah, and the other over west central Idaho. The moisture moving into Utah today will cause those values to begin to decrease for the next few days. And over western Idaho, it'll take a few days for those values to come back down as the moisture is a little bit more limited up there. And it won't make its way there until Monday and into Tuesday. The extended forecast is calling for near normal temperatures across much of the Great Basin, except maybe along western Nevada and western Idaho, where temperatures could be above normal. And we are looking for that wet signal to come back into the southern Great Basin for the middle of the month, while northern Nevada and southwest Idaho are looking to remain on the dry side. This concludes today's fire potential briefing. Please check back tomorrow for the latest updates.